Welcome, Ephucus. Okay, so Ephucus, we are going to look at um, what is going on for you over the next couple of weeks. Okay, and what it is that you need to know. Okay, gosh, everything's going all crazy. I'm trying to just simply shuffle the cards here, and it's already going mental. Okay, so let's have a look here for you, Ephucus. Oh, by the way, we're using the Enchanted Map. And we are using the Gilded Tarot. Changing it up, changing it up. Okay, if you kiss, we are starting with intention. What are you birthing? What are you birthing or what... Okay, so... The egg's been laid, right? But it's kind of like you can still nurture the egg. So how are you going to nurture it? And how you're going to nurture it is going to depend upon what your intention is. What is it that you want to grow, right? Because it's kind of like with the dandelion, you know how you get it and you blow on it and you make a wish, right? And then it just all floats off, but you don't have control over where it lands necessarily. You only have a control you, you 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 only have control over the wish that you infuse. The little dandelion things that go floating off and where they land is where it will grow so I feel like it's landed because this is sitting here on a pedestal and it's like you're waiting for it to hatch but it's kind of like there's more work that needs to be done no fucus more work needs to be done okay i've still got things flying around three of cups three of cups celebration okay um because there has been progress made okay so definitely celebrate that um it could be This could be about what you're nurturing it with. Maybe. But it's kind of like what are you filling your cup up with as well, if you kiss. Like, you know, being aware of that. And and kind of like um, being around people who have filled their cup with the same thing. It's been not around like-minded people necessarily, but being around like-hearted people. Okay. Uh, Page of Pentacles. Okay. So this is about you and learning where your investments land you. This is kind of like you learning how to make something grow in a sense, you know. Nurturing. This is nurturing something, learning how to nurture something. You know, and maybe the Three of Cups is, is part of that. This is part of this nurturing. This is the vibration that you need to use in order to nurture something to help it grow, you know. And maybe that's about, you know, kind of getting that stability because the, the egg is on the pedestal, so it's nice and stable. Anyway... <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Let's see what else we have here. Making a choice. Making a choice. There's a path. There's a fork in the road. Or is this about making a choice of what it is that you are going to feed your egg? Let's have a look. 
Tell me more about making a choice for a fucus ace of swords. Uh, this is this is cool. This is cool. So this is like, you know, what are you going to cut out? What are you going to cut out of your life? It's like this um, thing of... Really, really pulling on this inner strength, right? Um, and I just wonder, for some of you, if you, cause if you've been down this path here and now you can go down this path here, it's kind of like you've you've overcome the storm in a sense. Maybe, though, you're coming out of the storm. Maybe that's the case. Not sure, not sure yet, but let's have a look. Okay, what else for making a choice for a few first, please? But I really like that the Ace of Swords can come up here because this is like a new truth for you, you know. Seven of Cups, oh, so a decision. Spoiled for choice. Maybe, you know what, though, I have to say, with this coming up with make a choice, I think you need to make a choice because it's almost as though if you don't make a choice, one of the doors could close and you only end up with one choice. Okay. So that could be something for some of you. What is it? The, the analysis paralysis. Um, taking your time to go within. But interestingly enough, see, it's like there's this three of swords here, right? Which is, you know, that broken hearted kind of something that, you know, really upset you or hurt you. Um, but there's the one sword down here, which is this sword here. Okay, so this is... This could be you kind of sitting on, okay, like sitting on the egg, going, let me just take a moment. I'm not going to take all year, but let me take a moment right now to decide what it is. What intention am I going to set here with this new beginning, with this new truth? What do I want that to look like? What do I want to birth here? right what cup do i want to pick what do i want to fill my cup with yeah oh, oh it's getting good it's getting good okay Ooh. protecting treasure so is it the case if you guess that some of you are too afraid to allow the treasure box being your heart to open up because it has been hurt in the past. Sorry, I should have showed you that properly. Protecting treasure. Got to do with the umbrella there, under the umbrella. It's like she's protecting herself, but she's lying in the rain because she's protecting the treasure. It's like being in this door here. See, this is the thing. That's Maybe that's why I got, you, you're coming out of this. Maybe you're coming out of this. And maybe this was, you know, you protecting your heart. Maybe you did take that time to heal your heart. And now you're ready to step into a new truth. Man. Imagine opening that up and what glowing thing is in there. Because you can already see it's like glowing down here. It's like it doesn't even need to be open. It's like the, the, the glow is permeating the box because it's so friggin' strong. And also, I keep seeing here a rainbow, right? This is the rainbow at the end of the storm, right? As the rain clears. So you could be coming to the end of the storm. You could be at the end of the storm. Oh, yeah. Okay, the moon here, and we have the devil here as well. So there's some things that you still that still need to be cleared. Okay, some things that are not serving you, if you kiss, that you need to get rid of. Okay, um, it could be that there are some things that um, you uh, you are hiding, and um, I feel like, yeah, these are just. It's kind of like you just need to to work on those things to clear them, okay? Um, but the moon here, 
I feel like with the moon here, there's, it's kind of like there's the case that, um, I just wonder if some of you are a little bit like not seeing the truth about something, whether that's outside of you or internal, there's something you're not being honest with yourself about, okay, and I kind of feel like there's, um, I just want to say, especially with her lying on this box, because it's like there's this glow inside this box, right, that is ready to um, burst out, but she's lying on the box. It's like she's forcing the box to continue to be closed. So just be aware of manipulating any situation um, or being manipulated. I, I feel like this could be about you, Ophiuchus, and I don't mean that in a in a nasty way that you're doing anything manipulative in a nasty way, um, but it's more so because this is out of this kind of protection. It's like it's almost as though you've been protecting it for so long, it's become unhealthy, and it's become kind of toxic in a sense, if you like. So uh, I feel like it's time to uncover that treasure now because the treasure needs to grow um, and it's not able to hatch unless you hop off the box. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Ride the wave. This is allowing the, the, the flow. It's like the flow, going with the flow type of thing, you know. But allowing the wave to break. Um, interesting. This is very interesting. Yeah, it's like there's something that's there's there's something that is trying to be covered up. But I feel like that could be internal. Honestly, I really do. But it's something hidden. It's something being hidden, like kind of maybe swept under the carpet type of thing. Um, there's a fear of that coming out for some reason. So it really is about this intention, right? If you want to birth something and hatch this egg, what is your intention here? Okay, because it's like you want it to hatch, but there's something that you also want to hide or someone wants to hide Okay, and I, I say that in a loving way because I don't, I feel like, like I said before, I feel like it's out of this protection for this heart. So I don't think it's a malicious thing. Okay, um, the Queen of Wands. Oh, interesting. The Queen of Wands. Is this this passion? Maybe there's a passion within you because, yeah, see this fire in the devil? And there's this fire here, so it's like there's this internal passion burning. It's burning you, and you're trying to keep it down. Down, boy, down. It's like, you know, uh -uh, not letting that come up. Very interesting. Queen of Wands. I wonder if, you know, like it's like you're afraid that the passion's going to go out. If you let this thing out, Queen of Cups, wow. With these two queens here? This is about... Making... It, it could be for some of you, you may have a choice to make between two people. Potentially. And if you choose one of them, it's going to hit the fan, man. It's going to hit the fan. Hmm. It doesn't have to be about another person. It could be like one. It's, but it's like this truth. It's like the truth. It's like the truth coming out, but it's standing in your truth. Very interesting, Ophiuchus. Very interesting. Something gets revealed, though. It's like something is getting revealed. So this could very well be someone around you. Although I just don't feel like it is, but please apply it how it needs to be applied. 
coming to life. Look at this. See, this is rising up. This is coming out of the out of this here. It's like this transformation out of being buried. Something's been buried for so long. And I want to say that the devil may not be a bad thing. It may just be this internal passion inside of you that has been buried for so long you don't even know how to let it out and let it up and let it shine. You know, um, it could be about getting people around you who are going to encourage you and support you to do that. Okay. Um, but I just really feel like it's time to break out. It's not even time to break out. It's time to break free. See, there's something that's been kept secret. There is something that's been kept secret. And it's like none of these here, no one wants to be meet the eye. You know, no one wants to look someone in the eye type of thing. They just kind of want to move without any anyone noticing. Oh, this is real, like, cryptic. Coming to life, though. Tell me more about this coming to life. See, strength. Okay, so it's going to take strength for you to be able to rise up here, Fucus. Okay, but this is taking this mask off and um, seeing things for how they truly are, I feel. Um, and really, really using your gut. Okay, using your gut to lead the way. Um, but these, you know, with the strength card, there's also this need to be gentle as well. So the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands, it could be about embracing their two energies to do things in, in a very loving and gentle way, right? Because they are beautiful energies, these two queens. And, um, you know, she's the Queen of Wands. She's a very warm person who's always willing to to help people. And the Queen of Cups is very loving. Um, and so this could be very well what how you need to deal with yourself. It could be that some kind of something needs to come out of Fucus and you're afraid of the repercussions. Um, and It's kind of like there's this feeling of wanting to hide away. Um, feel to drink. Wow. Look at this. It's like all these dandelions here may have been eggs and they all floated and ended up together. But some of them are hatching. And see how... See how here, this one's lying on top of the egg here. It's like protecting this treasure. And I kind of feel like that you're afraid that when this breaks out, it's all going to be doom and gloom. But I, I'm not sure it will be. You might be pleasantly surprised. Because out of the egg, it's like there's this expectation that when the eggs hatch, it's expected that something that an owl will come out because the owl is sitting on the egg but in actual fact it's butterflies because look at all these butterflies around and there's this butterfly coming out of this egg over here see here and so things are not as they seem everything is not as it appears of fucus You have to like, you have to comment down below if you would to let us know what's happening here because this is like, okay. We've got the Hierophant here. Okay, so this is focus and, and, and it could be that you need some guidance. Okay, but we also have the Six of Swords here. And this is coming away. This is this is moving. You've moved moving away and going towards something. And it's real interesting because then like maybe it's guidance. Maybe you need guidance um, to help you along this journey. You might need, you know, like with these Queen of Swords, even the Hierophant, you might need 
the people to help guide you along this journey, to be there to support you. Okay, this could be about getting your friends to rally around you to help support you during this time of transformation, during this time of change. Okay, like as as you you're about to hatch something. Okay, um, yeah, and I really do feel like this could even be about just putting an end to habits that are, are not going to um, help you sustain this growth. Okay, that could be something like that. Um, and maybe it is that there's habits that need to be ended and you might just need some assistance with that. So make sure you accept that, like don't put yourself down, you know, um, and, and just realize that it takes courage and strength to ask for that help. And that's OK. That is more than OK. All right. Um, magic string. It's see this is the string she's going down. It's magic. Like it's actually magical. We've got the stalk here, so this is birthing something new. This something's about to be hatched, and it's going to be freaking magical. Stalk's, stalk's not even, I think it's a stalk. I assume it's a stalk. I don't even know. But every time I see it, it looks like a stalk. Um, the tower. Things are falling apart for everything to come together. And it may very well have been that this has already happened. Okay. Um, far too many cards there. But it's kind of like you're in control of it. Some of you could be in control of this tower moment. Um, but it's like... I'm getting more from this this recreation, you know. It's really about cutting everything out, like I said, with the Ace of Swords that no longer serves you. The lovers. This could be an argument between two people. This could be the ending of a relationship that has needed to happen in order to have other dreams, to head towards a dream. Interesting that this has come up with the magical magic stream. This could be that there was a tower moment between yourself and an ex-partner that had to happen for you to go down the magic stream in the boat here to maybe you left a relationship that caused, you know, maybe you left in silence because it was safer. For some of you, it may have been safer. Um, and that's led you to this. Because look how they're in the water there, right? So maybe this is where this magical stream has left you, led you. And um, you're birthing something new. Um, but in saying that, if you could, for those of you, if this isn't about a relationship, it could be this is you heading towards yourself and this internal love. Um, heading towards your dreams. Yeah, anyhow. What the heck? What is with all these eggs, man? <laughs> Gentle gardener. Look at this. Look at this lady up here. She's like an old, wise lady, right? Blessing. Oh, the, you've been blessed. This is such a blessing. It's like a sacred freaking... This is meant to be. This is 100% meant to be. Maybe some of the eggs weren't what they you thought they were. It's kind of like maybe you cut out some of the eggs and you're left with just the good eggs. Maybe. Gentle gardener. Be being gentle. Like obviously, you know, if you're you're nurturing an egg, you have to be gentle, right? You can't be throwing it around and carrying on, you know? So yeah. That's oh, my I really, really this is so interesting if you guys Gotta tell us what's going on here and how this applies if it does like and if this isn't your story go and check out your other placements okay because there's could be messages in there for you but 
Man, this is interesting. Okay. So different perspective. Okay. Looking at other ways that you could nurture. Other ways that you could grow what it is that you want to grow. Maybe you've been down a path and you've tried to grow things, but it didn't go the way you wanted. But you know what I really feel like the big message here is, is cutting out things that do not serve you, Fucus, especially thoughts. You know, when you're looking at the intention of this could be about being gentle with yourself, not being hard on yourself about, you know, these sorts of things or this sort of thing. You know, um, not being hard on yourself about that. You know, actually moving away from the thoughts that do not serve you. Like, come on. This is, yeah, you moving away from this heartbreak, right? Wow. Man, look at this. This is real. Yeah. The three swords taking time to repair from that really really getting to the truth of the matter being honest with yourself about something maybe being honest with yourself about why something ended you know it could also be if you just about taking responsibility for your part in the ending of something even if someone did the duty on you you know no matter what it, it you know there's how is it that you I want to say contributed to that, but not necessarily, because for some of you, this could have been something abusive, okay? And it could have been that somebody had some kind of power over you. Um, but what I do want to say, if that was the case, because I know a fucus, because I've been there, you know? And I know that there was part of me that 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 was familiar with that. You know, and it's not an excuse for that person to have done what he did. But there was something inside of me that um, that held space for that to happen. And it wasn't that I wanted it or that I asked for it. Um, but I had to, to build myself up and nurture myself and be kind to myself, right? Be gentle with myself in order to move away from that yeah so this is what i mean by loving yourself if you guess. okay um to come to a new truth for yourself and say this is who i am now and this is me standing in my power and to take those swords out of your heart those daggers out of your heart that someone else may have put there but now it is your responsibility to take them out. See, I left those swords in my heart for a really long time because I didn't want to forget. And if the chance ever came that I would be able to say to them, this is what you did to me and this is how you hurt me, I wanted though I wanted that. I wanted to show them that. But the fact of the matter is that that wasn't hurting anyone other than myself. I wanted to protect myself, but in turn, I stopped myself from growing because I overdid it, right? So, yeah. Hmm. Coming apart. See, you, you've heard the saying, sometimes things need to come apart. For better things to come together. And that's what it looks like. You know, this is this person, so vulnerable, slowly coming up. Letting this, this hard mask that they once wore come away and fall away. So that their true authentic self can come through. Oh, makes me a little bit emotional. Because I can feel the vulnerability from some of you and I know what it's like. But this is your light. This is your light that deserves to shine. And man, yeah, it's scary, man. It is not like you can just go, ah, here I am. And, you know, it's not that simple. When you've got healing to do, like rising up 
and, and allowing your heart to be healed. It takes guts. Boy, oh boy, does it take guts, you know. So in that regard, you know, yeah, page of cups. Man, page of cups, right? Learning to fill your cup, learning what you want to put into that cup, starting again. Really, it is just starting again. Starting again for yourself because you're the one who deserves it, right? And getting that emotional thing support that you need, okay? And, and calling on that Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands to come and, and nurture you or be those for yourself, you know? Be them for yourself. Um... Uh, two of Wands to end with here. See, again, making a choice. What road do you want to go down? Yeah? What road do you want to go down? You know, sometimes the, the, the hardest road is the best road. And because we can stay in that comfort zone or we can go and branch out and this could be the best thing that ever, ever happened to us and it happened for us you know so a few kiss um yeah i just want to say my heart goes out to you if this is your situation and uh whatever, wherever you are in this and however it applies please 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 take care of your beautiful self because you deserve it okay a few kiss. okay until next time see you bye bye